you're probably here because you want to work with an influencer or you're trying to run an influencer marketing campaign and you just want to make sure that it is as successful as it can be hi everyone welcome to my channel my name is Belema Ogulu if you are a new subscriber hi I create beauty content lifestyle content content for influencers and about influencers and I'm happy to have you on my channel if you're a returning subscriber hey! welcome back welcome back to the channel i'm so happy to have you back now this video is for you if you want to learn how to work with influencers and if you want to build or create an influencer marketing campaign and you're just like where the hell do i even start from listen to me an influencer and on the flip side an influencer marketing manager who has run countless influencer marketing campaigns for different brands in different industries tell you exactly what to do to make sure that your campaign is successful so i know this sounds cliche but the very first thing you want to do is make sure that you identify what your goal for the campaign is this is very very important because it will set the tone for the rest of the stuff that you do when it comes to running this campaign a few examples of what your goals could be are brand awareness meaning that you want to get more people to know about your brand increase sales that means you want to get more people to buy your products or services another goal of yours could be to break into a new audience now whatever your goal is for this campaign you have to make sure that your goals are smart smart goals are goals that are specific measurable attainable relevant and timely let's say your goal is brand awareness right a specific goal could be have a total reach of 200,000 people over a period of four days and a 10% conversion rate meaning that 10% of 200,000 people would follow you or whatever you want your conversion to be whether it's followers or it's likes inquiries in your DMs whatever so that is a specific goal a measurable goal would be putting numbers to your goal so 200,000 is measurable you can measure and see if you're able to reach 200,000 people a attainable to reach 200,000 people is that an attainable goal yes or no is a question that you're going to have to ask yourself and answer for yourself the goal that you're setting for your influencer marketing campaign has to be relevant to your product you can't set a goal that has nothing to do with your product or service right and then t time bound so this basically means that you're going to have to put a timeline to your goals if you want to achieve a goal any goal there has to be a time frame that you plan to achieve these goals if not you're just planning you're not really chasing anything if there's no time attached to it so that's the first point identify your goals break them into smart goals i would suggest that you create a google sheet or an excel sheet to just kind of have all these goals written down so it's easy for you to always reference so after you've identified what your goals are going to be the next thing to do is to determine your target audience so who are we trying to reach who do we want to make sure sees this particular campaign that we're running? Let's say your goal is to break into a new audience. Remember earlier I mentioned that your goal could be anything. It could be um, brand awareness, increased sales, break into a new audience, whatever it is. So let's say for this particular campaign is to break into a new audience, right? So you're going to have to identify what that audience looks like. Are you a brand that used to cater to the working class and now you're trying to break into, um, let's say people that are in uni or people that are in secondary school? The next thing you're going to need to find out is what do they like doing? Where do you find them? Who do they listen to? What do they listen to? What do they watch? Do you understand what I'm saying? You just have to ask yourself certain questions. Who are we trying to reach? What are their pain points at the moment? What problems can we solve for them at the moment? How can we best reach them? Who is the best person to talk to them and who do they listen to? These are just a few questions that you're going to need to ask yourself and answer while you're trying to set up your influencer marketing campaign. And then when you're done answering all those questions, you're going to have to build what is called an audience or a buyer persona. Basically, you're going to create a personality of your ideal target audience you're going to have to do your own research into what buyer personas are and how to create one i can't really do that in this video because it will be too long however if you would like a video on buyer personas and stuff like that just let me know in the comment section and i'll put one together for you so the third thing you want to make sure you do when you're setting up an influencer marketing campaign is obviously create a budget after you have set your goal and you have found who your target audience is the very next thing you're going to need to do is create a budget to fit your influencer marketing goal when it comes to budgeting i do not like to tell brands what their budget should be i like for them to give me a budget that i can work with however what i would like for you to know when it comes to your influencer marketing campaign budget is that your budget has a direct effect on the kind of influencer that you can get to work for you let me explain what i mean there are certain influencers whose numbers are in the millions or in the very 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 high thousands and those people cost a lot of money <laughs> so say your budget is about a thousand dollars you obviously wouldn't be able to get a big influencer to work on that campaign with you except you're going to pull certain strings and draw from like personal relationships and stuff like that however you can work with micro influencers 
influencers and nano influencers they're actually really good people don't understand that nano influencers and micro influencers put in the work to make sure that your brand or your product message is being passed across that's why personally i love working with micro and nano influencers they make my job very easy <laughs> very easy because they get the brief they're ready to work they're like bees like you tell them we need this done in a week and they, are, they have it done in three days. It's crazy, but they are very, very hardworking and many times they're able to get the message across. So yes, yeah, circling back, your budget has a lot to do with who you can choose to influence for your brand, which brings me to the next point, which is create a list of influencers that you like to work with. So now we have our goal, we have our target audience, we have a budget. Now let's see who we can work with. Your goal for the influencer marketing campaign your target audience and your budget are going to determine who is going to make it to this list of influencers that you want to work with. Remember what I said earlier about pricing. Influencers that are really huge charge higher than nano and micro influencers. So if you'd like to work with a huge influencer, you might have to up your budget. A few tips when it comes to creating your list of influencers would be number one, does this person have the audience that we're trying to reach? Remember your goal, your target audience, exactly do they have the target audience that you're trying to reach you're going to have to do your research number two do they convert that's something that you're going to really have to do your research into there are apps and different websites that can help you check um the conversion rates like engagements and stuff like that for a particular influencer and see if their numbers actually convert when it comes to engagement three has this influencer ever worked with a brand like yours before now, this is important for two reasons. One, they may have an exclusivity contract where they cannot work with a brand like yours if they are currently working with your competitors. Two, you want to know if they have experience when it comes to influencing for a brand like yours. If they check these boxes and they fit into your goals, your target audience, and your budget, the fifth thing you need to do is open communication with this influencer. So you could do this via email or you could send them a DM. I would always, always, always recommend an email because it just helps keep both parties accountable. Nobody's saying, oh, I thought you said this, but you meant that. You know, that's the thing with phone calls. And also, the reason why I don't really recommend DMs is because messages can get deleted. Things could get really messy when, you, when you're dealing with influencers and companies because remember that everyone is a human being with emotions, with feelings, with what they think they heard. Miscommunication is very, 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 very common when you're doing any marketing campaign. So you're going to have to make sure that you are as clear and as concise as possible. If there will be a call, make sure it's a Zoom call that can be recorded just for reference. And also something that's really important is the way that you approach the influencers. Your message has to be, again, very clear. Don't send them a message and say, hey babe, or hey sis, or hey dear, we would like to know. You have to introduce yourself properly. Say what you do, why you do what you do, etc. This video will end up being way too long if I get into the details on how to reach out to influencers. However, if you would like a video like that, just let me know. So these are five ways that are tried and trusted by me and all the brands that I've worked with. So I hope this is useful for you guys. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, make sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought about this video. And also let me know what your experience has been like working with influencers. I would really, really love to hear that. If you would like to work with me when it comes to influencer marketing, you could just send me an email at contact at bellamaogulu.com or you could send an email to bellamaogulu at gmail.com. Either way, I'll reply you. I hope this video brought you some form of value and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!